Hi, welcome back. This is going to be a different type of video. Uh, it's more of a chit chat, inspirational video for you. It doesn't really have anything to do with makeup or beauty, but has to do with life and coping. Uh, a while ago, I put out a request on Instagram and YouTube asking for questions to do a QA. and a I received a question from a beautiful friend of mine named Debbie. Hi, Debbie. And she asked me to tell her or tell you how I have coped and been upbeat, positive during the last couple years. And I thought about it for a long time and I thought I need to do a dedicated video to this subject because I feel that it's so important to talk about. What really kind of pushed me over the edge to sit down and talk to you is the current situation in the Ukraine and how I've been feeling, seeing what's going on there. And thinking back on how it was when the pandemic was at its highest and most of us or all of us had to stay home. Now, this isn't gonna be like a list that you should do. It's just things that I've done to cope with this. Now first, let me explain. I, um, besides having lupus and some other autoimmune diseases, I also suffer from depression. I have had depression since the early 80s. I've coped with it on my own. I've gone to therapy. I've been on medication. I've done everything. Um, depression is something that for me, comes and goes. It's genetic and it also is situational. There's things that have happened to me in my life and to people that I love dearly that have affected me greatly. I, um, and people that know me well will not be surprised when I say this, I'm a very uh, deeply emotional person. I really care about people and to use the word that goes around a lot, I am an empath, meaning that when someone I love or care about is going through something that is difficult, I feel it. I feel it in my soul. So getting through horrible things in my life has not been have, has not been easy but I've done it um am I perfect no and I think the first thing that I want to share with you is something that I was told a long time ago and it was to allow yourself to be weak we, especially as adults, and especially if you come from a family like I do, where we're strong uh, immigrants, come from immigrants, uh, we've come to this country uh, to build a new life, we've gone through a lot. I personally have not, but on my father's side, I am second generation uh, Polish American. On my mother's side, I am Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, Portuguese, I just found out through Ancestry DNA. Um, my mother was born in the island of Puerto Rico, which does belong to the United States, but it was a big transition for her to move as a little girl to, they call the States, specifically Chicago. So, you know, my father is a child of the depression, uh, my grandmother, my dad's mother, she came here from Poland when she was 16 years old, all by herself. And so I come from that. I come from strong women, men too, but I'm not a man. I'm a woman and I can only speak from a woman's perspective, my perspective. 
So we're kind of taught as women to be strong, be tough, be tough. You can handle this. You, you can get through this. And yes, we can, but we need to allow ourselves, even it's one day, if you can't do a day, a couple hours, half a day, one hour, just to be weak. And whatever your week is, do it. My week is to cry or just lay in bed quietly. It is okay. Now, if you're having a hard time where you can't get out of that bed or stop crying, then you need to try to seek help or find someone that you trust with your whole being and share how you're feeling. Okay, so letting your, allowing yourself to be weak, especially during trying times is very important. Another thing that I try to do, and it's written everywhere, all over social media, and it's so true, is I surround myself with positive thinking people. But those positive thinking people don't necessarily have the same exact opinions that I have. And we're not meant to. We're not meant to all feel the same about every single subject. Because if we were, we would be robots walking around. And we're not. We're human beings. And it's okay. You can find that common ground. But if you surround yourself with people that uplift you, that allow you to uplift them, it makes it easier. Another thing that I like to do is write. Now, if you don't like to write, that's fine. But I love to journal. I have so many of these journals. I write different things. If you want to be a little more creative, they sell tons of these creative writing journals where they give you subjects and you answer. Writing has helped me throughout my life. I have started writing since I was about 12 years old. Now I haven't done it daily because I'll be honest, I get lazy and that's fine because I'm not hard on myself. That's another thing. Don't be hard on yourself. You're a human being. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to feel sad. We're going to say things that maybe we didn't mean. But if you acknowledge that you did something wrong or you feel this way, that's the important thing. Another thing for me is faith. Now, I'm not saying here that everyone has to believe what I believe in. And this video isn't about faith. It's not about a religion, I should say. I think that if you have faith and believe in something, whether it's a higher being, whether it's the beautiful mountains that you see or that sunshine, even the beautiful snow if you love snow, if you believe in something, you have faith. Love, love is so important. And especially now, with everything that we've gone through as human beings, love is the answer. Remember, you don't have to agree with everybody, but respect, respect for you, respect for him, for her, for they, for me, respect people. Another thing personally that I like to do is I like to get lost with a good TV show, whether it's a comedy. I love Friends and they show it constantly on TV. I love Big Bang Theory. I love some of the new comedies like Call Me Cat. I love to get involved with trashy um, real housewives. They're all train wrecks, but it's fun for me. There's reading. I'm not a very big reader. I love to read. I will read and then I won't read for a long time. But I find that for a lot of people, reading helps you to escape even for an hour the life that maybe is kind of bringing you down. An example, my dad. My dad is a ferocious reader. 
He is almost 89 years old in a couple months. And last year, I believe he read around 44 books. Reading takes him to a place of knowledge, travel, learning, and it helps him to escape whatever sadness he is feeling. The next one is sort of ironic because this is social media, but sometimes we glue, we're too glued to social media. And sometimes we take it to heart what people post or what people say, and it might be the total opposite of what we believe and we let that just burn inside us. Scroll along. You don't have to read that post. It doesn't have to bother you. Scroll along. Another thing, and this is something that I've discovered probably over the last year, and it has really helped, is proper nutrition, honestly. Eat that breakfast, eat that lunch, eat that dinner. And if you want to have a little snack, go for it. Try not to overindulge, but sometimes we're going to do that. But try not letting, try not to let it be because you're sad. I'm going to eat a piece of cake because I'm sad. If you're feeling sad, go for a walk. If you can't go for a walk, open the windows to your room or to your living room. Look outside. I am sure that you will find one thing out there that you think is beautiful. Nature is, is amazing. Another thing that I personally enjoy is shopping. Now, I'm not a shopaholic. I don't have to go to stores and have to buy something. But I do love in-person shopping. And I do remember back when we were in quarantine and we couldn't go out, I missed that interaction. But see, for me, shopping is not just about like looking at things and buying. It's about socialization. It's about seeing people. I'm a pretty friendly, open person. And I like to say hi to people that I see in the mall. I see somebody dressed with a cute outfit or a man that's dressed nice. You know, I'll give them a compliment. You know, I stop, get a coffee. I look at some things. I, I get ideas for like things I want in my home or outfits that I want to put together. And maybe I have something similar in my closet, but I never thought of, you know, styling it with, with that. A nice walk through the mall just brightens my whole mind. Um, and I think another thing too is to try to remember that there is always someone that's going through more than you do, or you are, I should say. Now, at the moment when you're going through something so hard, especially if it's something horrific, you can't imagine anyone else feeling that way. And frankly, you don't care because you were hurting. Get through that hurt and think about someone that's in another country that doesn't have what you have or a child who is sick think about even that woman who's always wanted to be a mother but never could be or that man who's always wanted to be a father there's always someone going through something and i know it's kind of cliche to say you know there's always someone going through something and be nice. Sometimes it's hard to be nice. So when you can't be nice, just be quiet. Sometimes I can't be nice. So I go into the bedroom I share with my husband. I lay down, I prop myself up on the bed. I put a good movie or a TV show that I like on and I'm just quiet with myself. Learning to be quiet with yourself is hard but it's something that's very therapeutic when you can do it. So these are just some things that I do and I have done to get through hard times. The pandemic was so hard on everyone. 
whether you went through it personally or saw it on TV or heard about it on the news, it affected us all. And I think in some ways we probably will never be the same. And that's okay. But we got through it. Now what's happening in the world, we don't know. Just try to have faith, whatever that faith is. And have faith in yourself that you can get through it and let yourself be weak for that short time because it's okay. It really is. Even if you're a man, it's okay to be quiet, to be within yourself, and it's okay to cry. Just pick yourself back up when you can and hope and wish for better times because they are coming. So this video is over 15 minutes. I'm going to end it for now. I'm going to try do more, to do more of these talks about the way I feel. Uh, I feel often that I, I have been told that I inspire people by my words. And I want to share more of that with you because I am more than just makeup. Um, I am more than just clothes and shopping. We all have kind of this gift and I feel that my gift is to give others encouragement and I hope that I do. I purposely recorded this th different direction so hope it doesn't bother you. Um, I hope that you are having a good day and if you're not there's always tomorrow. I send you love, peace, and hugs. Take care of yourselves.